Okay, so this is um, some instructions for the craftpassion.com um, mask. Um, and this is the, the largest size for men. But I we've tried it on, um, my, you know, my daughter here and myself and my husband. It seems to fit everybody pretty well. So um, first of all, the, the pattern that the woman who owns this site um, so kindly gave is... Um, does not include the seam allowances. So I traced it um, from the computer. I didn't even print it out. I traced it right on my computer screen. Um, and then I laid that on this brown paper and I added a, on, so for the outer fabric, I added three eighths of an inch seam allowance along this top curved line, the side curved line, in the bottom and then I added one inch of a seam allowance on the side this is where um, the elastic is um, going to be to go around the ears so this is going to form a channel for the elastic now this is for the inner fabric and I cut it out of, of flannel to be soft um, now on this piece you would take the template that that you get from Craft Passion, and you add a 3 8 inch seam allowance along this curved line, this curved line, and the bottom, but you don't add any seam allowance for the side, and you'll see why. Okay, so there's, those are my templates. And now I'm gonna show how to make this, um, this mask with, using elastic hair bands because there seems to be a major shortage of elastic around. Um, there, it, it, you can't find it right now, but I've had pretty good luck with um, using hair bands. Um, it's, it seems like it's comfortable and sturdy. Um, and I'll, let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is the mask that I made with the hair bands on the sides. And this is the front of it then that would go over each ear. I'm going to put it on myself. So. And it goes up over your nose and down. Okay? All right. Okay, so first of all, you take your outer fabric and you put your pieces right sides together, like so. And we're going to sew right along this curve and this is the curve this is the part that's going to be at the top of your nose and that's what is going to be under your chin so this is the curved part we sew this with the three eighths inch seam allowance that we added to that pattern so okay you need to leave cat thing with your lining pieces with the flannel that you're lining the mask with right sides together and you can pin this but the flannel is kind of st staying together well so this is my 3 8 inch up and we're going to top stitch. You can iron this. But I am going to push my seam allowance to the left and top stitch right along the the seam line pulling underneath pulling the seam allowance over to the left keeping the edge of the presser foot right here on that seam. And just going little by little, moving. 
or flattening out the, the work as you go. You're not gonna get it all flat all at once because it's curved. And just kind of pull this open as you go, pushing that seam allowance over to the left. Do the same thing with the outer fabric. I'm not worrying that it's all bunched up here. I'm just flattening it out a couple of inches at a time. Pulling that seam allowance over to the left. It wants to go to the right, but I'm just pulling it. It doesn't matter. the right side the right sides of the outer fabric right side of the inner fabric we're going to put them right sides together matching the seam I'm gonna match right here the initial seam not the top stitching but the seam in the seam and it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be perfect and I'm going to pin along the top part where it's curved to keep it in place. And then again, flip it over and I'm going to pin it on the bottom, matching those seams. Okay, now I'm going to sew these two, the outer fabric and the inner fabric together, right sides together, with a 3 8 inch seam allowance along the top. I'm gonna to back stitch a little bit. I should probably take my pins out as I'm going. top of the mask. Here's the bottom. I didn't do so much pinning here because it's straight and it's not moving around, but if your fabric is moving around, you might want to pin it all along. Now I'm going to turn this right sides out. Okay, we're going to turn this right sides out, but first, to make it easier to top stitch, where these seams are, it's very bulky. So we're just going to snip a little bit of that off. You can also clip into the part. So I've ironed this flat and I've also ironed down the sides. This is going to, going to form the channel that we put the hair elastic through. But for now I'm opening, opening it back up flat and I'm going to just top stitch around the top and the bottom.
No. Why don't you finish that? And okay, so now I'm going to sew um, these elastics into this channel, and it's a little fiddly. So I'm going to start with it fold iron down um, a quarter of an inch and then a half an inch, and that's going to encase the raw edge of the, the flannel lining. Okay. And just start by putting the elastic in right at the top. edge. I just have it folded over. Back stitch to keep it in. And just stretch the fabric over. Keep going on and just stopping every minute, every inch or so. And I'll actually Stick away from the presser foot. And then, I don't know if you can see that. And then back stitch a couple times to keep it in, in place. Just trim your threads. And then you have the elastic encased in there. I'll show it one more time. So fold over a quarter of an inch and then a half an inch and iron that flat. And you're going to put your elastic under just a little bit to get it started. I have to push it through. There we go. And then stretch the elastic over as you go. So it really helps to have it ironed down beforehand because it falls into place better.